Hello everyone, I hope you're doing great. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how you can analyze Lacquer scale questionnaires, validate them, and use them in your studies for articles or in your research paper. So stay tuned till the end of the, the video because I'm going to explain a step-by-step -step way to Find the Lacquer scale questionnaire that fits your context according to research gap, make it online, then we can see how we can pilot test it, test it, its reliability, its validity, uh, etc. So as to use it in our research papers. So let's get started with this example, which is about the well-being uh, scale of teachers, or we can use it for any job literally. So it can be used depending on the job that you have in mind. And here we are talking about teachers, for instance. Okay, so first I need to find a Likert scale online that is talking about job well-being, for instance, or job satisfaction. To do this, we need to go to our browser and we need to go to Google Scholar. So before Google Forms, we need to go to Google Scholar. So this is for Google Forms. So let's go to Google Scholar, this one, and then we can uh, uh, type job satisfaction questionnaire or, or will be in questionnaire. So here we find different studies that talk about uh, constructs and concurrent validation of Andrews and Whitney questionnaire, etc. etc. We can pick up a study and then open it uh, like this to the development and factor analysis of the teacher job satisfaction questionnaire. We can take its DOI if it is not available and post it in another website. You can uh, know the website in which we post uh, DOI or digital object identifiers so that we can get articles. Then one we get the article once we get the article we just can read it, you can see here development and factor analysis of the teacher job satisfaction questionnaire. So this article contains the questionnaire. It says that an instrument designed to measure teacher job satisfaction was developed using randomly selected elementary, junior high school, senior high school teachers, New York City, as etc. etc. So factor analysis was used to analyze the data, so especially exploratory factor analysis. Etc. A terminal nine factor orthogonal very max solution was accepted using the criterion of eigenvalues greater than or equal to unity, etc. And the Cronbach alpha was calculated for the uh, total score, or it can be also computed for each dimension. We are going to see this in detail if we scroll down here. We can find the questionnaire, especially in the data analysis section and in the exploratory factor analysis phase, or sometimes it is put in the appendix. So here it is put in the uh, exploratory or data analysis uh, phase. So you can see here the factors like supervision and you see the items of the scale. You can just uh, copy and paste those items or you can use Google Lens to take pictures of them and render them into a text so that you can easily retra uh, retract or retrieve the data so that you can use it, provided that you can ask for permission to use the questionnaire because it was developed by this author. Uh, okay, so you, you should also acknowledge the author if he's dead, for instance, that's how he or she should be remembered. So that's why we say that uh, if we think we exist or if you think you exist, etc. So anyway, so these are like some ethical procedures that should be respected because you should not take this questionnaire as yours, although you adopt it or you adapt it. So either way, you need to uh, take permission or you can uh, just uh, cite the owner of the questionnaire. Then once we have these items, we can just go to Microsoft Office Word and we put the questionnaire like this will be in, for example, questionnaire or satisfaction questionnaire, put a section which we describe the questionnaire, background information about gender, age, years of experience, level of education, hours worked per week, for instance, uh, etc., etc., or other uh, questions. Then we put the Lockhart scale items in this way, from one to five, strongly disagree to strongly agree, and we give them these codes, as you can see. 
And this is just an open question, open-ended question, and the reference from which we took uh, the questionnaire, for example. Okay, it reference it in the style that you wish. After this, we need to, to put this questionnaire online so that we can get data online. There are different ways. We can use different platforms, but uh, the, the most uh, used platform, and it is a free platform, it's called Google Forms, as you know. So we go to Google and we just uh, look for Google Forms. It is one of the products of Google. And then we go to Google Forms and create a Google Forms. So to go to Forms, this one. So once we go to forms, you will have a blank page in which we start putting the questionnaire. So I put the title first, then the description, so I can change the font of the title, can make it bold, etc., italic, etc. Then I can change again the description, so I can just copy the description, paste it there, and then we can start putting gender, uh, age, uh, years of experience, uh, highest level of education, hours worked per week. So these are usually open-ended questions. Then they can be categorized like 1 to 5, 6 to 10, 11 to 20. So we can categorize it. But if we have it categorized, it, we cannot see exactly which hour or which number of hours. Is it, let's say, uh, 4 or 1 out of 5, for instance. So the, the group is not clear. I hope you see what I mean. Then we can use uh, the Likert scale. So the Likert scale, I can show you an example of how to do that. So let's create one and go to multiple choice and let's choose multiple uh, choice or rather there is another one. It's called multiple choice grid, this one. So we choose it and here we, have, we put the uh, items like from one to five, like strongly, uh, strongly uh, disagree to strongly uh, agree for instance four and five and then here we put the items well, i'm not going to type item by item because that is time consuming so what we, we, what we can do is that we are going just to copy and paste the items that we uh, adopted or adapted in case we change uh, some words there so copy everything paste it and here it is so it will look something like this. And so the respondents can choose what item to, to select. So it will appear clearly on mobile phones or even on laptops. So it will appear in a nice way, not like this way, because this way is hidden a little bit. So anyways, once we do this, we can share the link. So go by going to send and sharing the link, shorten it, uh, let's shorten it, and then we can share it in social media. You can also add collaborators by going to these three dots and then add collabor collaborators. And you can share this uh, questionnaire with your colleagues or your supervisors or whomever who may be interested in this uh, by just uh, putting their email address and click done and it will make them as an administrator of the questionnaire or just editors or viewers of the questionnaire. So this is what this is what you can do for the settings. You can change the display of the questions, whether this is a quiz or not, the responses, whether to collect emails or not, whether to restrict this to one response, the presentation, whether to show pro, show a progress bar or not, etc. So these are like different uh, options that can be selected from here by going to settings. Once you do that, you can follow the other steps. Once we start collecting the data, we can do the pilot study, like we can collect just 15 responses, and then we can start the pilot study to see whether the questions are clear, etc. If everything is clear, we can also test the reliability. If everything is clear, then we can run a full scale study by uh, running or rather distributing the questionnaire to a larger scale. Then. Once we get everything, we can import the data also, so we can view responses in the data. By clicking this icon, we will come up with an icon like this, or rather uh, the Google uh, spreadsheet, and we can go to File, and we click Download, and we can choose multiple formats like Microsoft Excel, PDF, web page, comma separated values, etc. So it's better that we download it in uh, Microsoft Office Excel. 
because we we need to code it and we need to import it to a spaces or another uh, platform that is free which is called Jamovi for instance so that we can start running the descriptive and inferential statistical tests that are available uh, along with assumption checks like normality reliability heterogeneity heteroscedasticity whatever assumption uh, or assumptions that need to be tested for each let's say inferential statistical test okay so once we do all these things we go to a spaces we import the data there is an option which we say file import data and go to excel and uh, locate it in the desktop and then once we import the data we can go again and code it or give labels so here we can code each uh, answer with for example in the data view like one strongly disagree to disagree three somehow uh, somewhat agree for agree and five strongly agree. So once we finish the coding of all items or the labeling for each item, for instance, we need to run the statistical test. So the author of the original uh, article can be used as a source. So we need to revalidate this context, let's say, or this questionnaire, the job satisfaction teachers, uh, job satisfaction questionnaire in the Moroccan context. We want to see the extent to which this questionnaire is valid in Morocco or any other countries. Uh, and we are going, of course, to look at the findings, but uh, our purpose, for instance, is to validate the questionnaire first. And then we can look for other research, uh, let's say, uh, relationships, like is there any correlation between job satisfaction and burnout or uh, job satisfaction and atmosphere or job satisfaction and working hours? etc. So we can test literally everything that we have in mind based on our objectives because the number of tests that can be run are limitless and they can be run on the same data set. It's up to you to choose which uh, test to use depending on your research objectives, depending on your research questions and depending on your research hypotheses. So once we do this, we can, uh, let's say that we want to do factor analysis like this author, and we can use it as a reference. To do factor analysis on a spaces, we are going to go to uh, this coded survey, and then we go to analyze, and then we are going to go to dimension reduction and factor. So we click factor, so let's repeat, we go to analyze, then dimension reduction, and then factor. So once we are on the factor list, we are going just to to do the factor analysis, the exploratory called the, the exploratory factor analysis on the Lacquered scale items to uh, to divide them into dimensions or subgroups. So to do that, we are going to select all the items at once. For instance, move them to this box. Go to descriptive. We can choose coefficients. We can choose determinant. We can choose the chemo or the Kaiser Mayer Orkin test and Bartlett uh, test of sphericity, etc. And then click continue. For the extraction, so the author here uh, used what we call the uh, oblique, or rather the uh, the very the very max rotation. So I spotted it somewhere, so we can use it uh, as well. And we cite this author because it's the one who came up with this questionnaire as a reference. So, anyways, he cited they use the uh, very max uh, rotation uh, method. Okay, and we're going to do the same. Uh, so we are going to choose script plot for principal for exploratory factor analysis. We can go for principal access factoring. Uh, we can even specify the number of dimensions that we want to have. In case we want to base it on the eigenvalue, we can keep it like this. Click continue, and then for the rotation technique, we are going to choose the very max. So this is one is very frequent technique, and depending on what the author uh, did, and most. Uh, articles do this for instance there's yet another one another one etc okay, so anyway they just not going to make this video long so we can just go for the very max uh, i can share with you the material in case you need things we continue and click ok so for the very max and for the factor analysis uh, you need to have a minimum uh, set of requirements at least you should have a large sample size. The sample size should be relatively great. Otherwise you will run this, uh, you can come up with this error that uh, the analysis cannot be produced because you have a very small uh, sample size. So you need at least to have uh, 40, 50 or 
even one-handed, so highly recommended to have one-handed respondents. So this is for the uh, factor analysis. In case we want to check reliability, we can just do the same by going to analyze, and then we can go to scale reliability analysis, and then move the items that need to be analyzed in terms of reliability, and then click OK, we come up with the reliability. So these are like different tests that can be run depending on what you want to do with your analysis. You simply need to report the the, re, the results in, in a nice way, like in this way, or either way you choose depending on your needs and depending also on the, the styles that you are using. So once you, you finish, you can see to what extent your results uh, are related to, for instance, the this survey and uh, to see to what extent, for example, this questionnaire is validated in the context in which you are trying to validate it. Okay, so I hope this uh, answers a lot of your questions. And if you have questions or if you have other questions or remarks, kindly post them below. Uh, there are, in fact, different scales that you can use. The, the all depend on what you want to do. I can share with you uh, some examples like. Uh, there is, for example, this scale that is called the Maslash Burnout Scale, again, that can be used and it can be analyzed using factor analysis by having different dimensions or factors. There are, in fact, different scales that you can use. It's better to use scales that have been already developed. Why? Because we need, you, you know that those scales are really uh, are going to give you, for instance, the exact or the the best findings or the most valid findings, and you don't need to do the re-validation uh, uh, from A to Z, all right? And this is another study again, which uh, they are using the same procedure. Uh, if you notice here, this is the very max rotated component matrix, and these are the items, etc. So you see they report uh, some uh, tables, they don't report all the tables. Other tables or other findings are just uh, uh, reported in, in the text. They are not, let's say, put as a table because that will be too much for the analysis. So what is important is the result and to what extent the researcher has managed to answer the research questions or tested the research hypothesis. So I hope this is clear for you. I showed you in this tutorial the method from E to Z, how you can go about uh, validating a questionnaire, pilot testing the questionnaire, uh, analyzing a questionnaire using different methods, especially like explorative, exploratory factor analysis using the Valimax method and reliability analysis. If you have questions or remarks, do not hesitate to post them below. Try to, this really supports me by encouraging me to post more uh, educational videos. So uh, tell another tutorial. See you soon and bye for now.